Hello, Edge here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and install uh, Vegan Tab 7.0.0. And uh, we just tried, but we had a bit of a problem. So we're going to try again. This is take three, I guess. The first video I made, which is where I did my tablet, uh, I was a, a bit long winded on that one. So we're going to go ahead and do it again here. Now we just tried it. It didn't quite work well on my wife's G tablet, so we're going to try again. Okay, now let's try the install the zip from SD card. Huh. Okay. This might happen sometimes. So installation aborted. It says that uh, it couldn't open the file. So that's fine. Because we can connect USB while we're in clockwork mod. And we can go to mounts and storage. Want to mount SD card? Oh, I'm sorry, mount USB storage. There we go. Now on my uh, PC here that's connected to, there we go, yeah sure enough that's a bad file, it's got 0k so, I'm going to make a new folder called update, just so I know where the files are. Then I'm right now I'm going to grab I'm going to grab the actual file that we're going to do the update from from my computer here. Alright, so now it's copying over. I think what may have happened is the last time I copied it over, I wasn't paying attention and I was kind of rushing things and I think I didn't uh, give enough time for the entire file to copy over. So we got a partial file, which is why we got ran into this error. But I'm kind of glad we did run into this error because now you can see what happens if you do have a bad, um, a bad image, bad zip file. Um, everything isn't lost. You can even mount your USB uh, to directly to the computer, hook, hook it up, copy the files over like I just did. Now we're going to unmount. And now we will go down here again to install zip from SD card. Choose zip, go to the update folder, and we say yes, install. Now this looks much better, installing update. So, here we go. Some of the things I really like about this install, first of all, market works right off the bat. The launcher that they use um, is very nice, very much like ADW. It may be a version of ADW, uh, but I didn't feel the need to download ADW now like I always did before. Google Apps, uh, for the most part, the Google stuff is installed. You still have to install YouTube and Gmail, Maps, Voice, and, and so forth, but uh, very easy to do from the Marketplace. Again, Marketplace is complete, so just about anything you, you want to find is going to be on there. What's really nice is I've actually purchased um, a lot of apps for my tablet or for my uh, cell phone. Um, they're all available right there because I'm using the same account, so that's really nice. Um, and there we go. It says install is complete, so let's reboot the system now and watch what happens.
This is good. Okay, so already we're in better shape than the last time we booted this up. So it looks like we do have Vegan on here. It's going to come up with a really cool animation here in just a moment. Uh, remember, the first time you install any ROM onto the G-Tablet, it's going to take a little bit longer uh, because it's unpackaging things. So here we go. We've got the Vegan Tab Ginger Edition uh, splash screen, which looks really nice. Uh, the animation is really pretty cool. But this is going to take longer than it normally would if you've uh, already been running your system and had things installed here. So uh, we'll just wait for this to get done. So a lot of people have asked me what my favorite ROM is. Um, I'm really pretty partial to the Vegan Tab uh, ROMs for the G tablets. Uh, I've used TNT Lite, and I've used uh, an early version of Cyanogen Mod, which was really nice. I use uh, Cyanogen Mod on my uh, cell phone, but for the tablets, I've really been pretty happy with the way Vegan uh, performs, and it does really well. As you can see here, it's uh, done. We're gonna skip setting up the account for now because this is my wife's tablet and I'm going to let her handle all that stuff. We'll worry about her time zone and stuff here later. And there we go. Six minutes and fifty something seconds and that's including the fact that we had to copy the files over a second time onto the tablet in uh, Clockwork Mod and Flash the System. So there you go. That's what it takes to put Vegan Tab on here. This is Vegan Tab 7, Ginger Edition. Um, it's what I use on my tablet. I'll pull my tablet up here. Here's my tablet, which for those of you that have seen my stuff, you kind of know I, I like my screen to look a certain way, and that's how I've got it set up right here. But uh, anyway, that's stock. And this is with me already using it. So there you go. Um, thanks to everyone for watching my videos. Uh, thanks for the comments. Thanks for the messages. I try to get back to, uh, to as many of them as I can. If you need help uh, getting Vegan Tab installed on your G tablet, I would uh, highly recommend going to xda-developers.com. Um, I know that finding the actual forum for the G tablet is a little bit difficult, but once you once you find it. It's like hitting a gold mine. You'll get a lot of good information there. And there's people who are very helpful who will help you out. Um, I know they'll get you up and running in no time. All right. Thanks again, everyone. And as always, edge out.